Hello queens, angels, and goddesses. Welcome back to my channel. Warning this contains boy love. And if you don't like it then please get off my channel water pistol. Grinning face with cowboy hair. Shouto presses his back into the wall and counts his breath with each thump of his heart. One, two, three, four, five, six. His pulse beats faster as the sound of footsteps grows nearer. His breath frosts into the air in front of his face, and he has to cover his mouth to keep it hidden. Bakugou is here somewhere. If one of them can get out, then there will be nothing for the villain to use against them. He's got some kind of mind control quirk, as far as Shouto can tell. The police report they read mentioned something about officers turning against each other. Hopefully you Bakugou came to the same conclusion and had the foresight to leave. Shouto shouldn't have let Bakugou go through with this, but he would have come here with or without him. Actually, Shouto was surprised Bakugou asked him in the first place. Maybe that's why he agreed, because he was the first one asked, and that's never happened before. Found you. Before Shouto can react, something heavy hits him over the back of the head. He goes down hard, but the blow wasn't enough to knock him out. He gets a good view of the villain's face as he drags him out into the open by the hair. Where's your friend? He demands. I'm not sure what you mean, Shouto lies. I came here alone. That's funny, because I distinctly remember there being two of you. The villain taps Shouto on the forehead, and he feels a strange jolt of electricity spike through his nerve endings. I'll ask you again, where's your friend? Shouto doesn't intend to answer, but his mouth opens before he can stop it. I don't know. We got separated. This doesn't seem right. Rather than mind control, this quirk feels like a truth serum. No, not even that. Does anybody else know you're here? No, right double quotation mark. Shouto bites his tongue, but the words just keep spilling out of his mouth. We didn't tell anybody else we were going. I only went because he asked me first and it made me kind of happy. Oh no. Shouto really doesn't like this quirk. Rather than a truth serum, it seems more like he has no filter anymore, which is almost worse. Bakugou better not be around to hear any of this. The villain rolls his eyes. None of this is helpful. Kid, think you can fight right now? No, Shouto says against his will. My head hurts. I think I'm going to pass out. Actually, it's better for me to pass out before I say anything else. Is that so? The villain kneels in front of him. You know anything important? Shouto closes his eyes in an attempt to fight off the quirk's influence. He bites his lip until he tastes blood. He knows way too much. Something else. He needs to think of something else. Whatever is on his mind is what he'll say first. The villain smacks him hard. Come on now, wake up. I can tell you've got something to say. Shouto opens his eyes for just long enough to make out the shape of a figure dropping quietly from the ceiling rafters. Bakugou. He must have been here the entire time. Before he can say anything about it, Shouto drives his head back and smashes it into the villain's forehead with just enough force to make sure he knocks himself out. I would really rather not have Bakugou looking after me, Shouto says. It'll be really awkward for me. I don't want him to know. I don't care, Azora interrupts irritably. This is his punishment. You're currently suffering through yours, so I'd keep quiet if I were you. You two are the only idiots lucky enough to be suspended this week, which means Bakugou's the only one available. You'll stay with him until the villain's quirk wears off, and that's final. Shouto doesn't bother arguing. The quirk he was hit with makes it impossible for him to control himself, almost like his brain has been rewired to act without thinking. The reason Shouto is so nervous about being stuck with Katsuki is that he genuinely has no idea what he might say or do. And, unfortunately, Bakugou has no tact. I can't believe I'm stuck with you, he grumbles as soon as Shouto knocks on his door. You're such a moron. How did you get caught so easily back there, huh? I was trying to protect you, Shouto says automatically. He inwardly smacks himself. I'm just, going to stay on my own. You can tell Azora that I was with you, and neither of us will get in trouble. That's all I came here to say. What? Bakugou scowls. No way. 
As much as I hate this, it's my ass on the line. I can put up with you for a little while. That's not the issue here. I can't let you know, Shelto takes a deep breath before he can say anything else. I'm going. Hold on. Bakugao grabs Shelto by the wrist and pulls him back. You're pissing me off now. I'm not saying it was my fault, but if I'm supposed to watch out for you, I'm gonna do it. I don't think it's a good idea, Shelto says, trying and failing to pull his arm free. His heart is pounding. I really don't know what will happen. Bakugao snorts. Why, because you have no impulse control. What deep dark secrets are you hiding? Got a secret fetish? You gonna try and strangle me? Shelto yanks his hand away, surprised by the sudden burst of adrenaline. I'm, I'm serious, he stammers. I need to go back to my room. Right now. Are you kidding me? Bakugao grabs him again, and this time his grip isn't going to be easily shaken off. You can't be alone if you're going to keep acting so fucking crazy. Shelto bites down on his tongue until he tastes blood. He hates this stupid quirk. He shouldn't have gone to that warehouse. He never would have realized. He never would have realized, what? What exactly did he realize? You're in love with him, a voice in Shalto's head whispers. He closes his eyes tight, but the voice doesn't go away. It's not his voice, is it? It doesn't sound like his inner thoughts usually do. Is this part of the quirk? What's wrong with you? Shalto covers his eyes with his free hand. His fingers are trembling. So are his legs. His heart is beating out of his chest. It's painful. It's almost unbearable. Oi, are you listening to me? Bakugao grabs Shalto's other wrist. You're sweating. I want why, Shalto cuts himself off. He tries to focus on taking deep breaths, but his cells are screaming. Let go. I really need, need to go. Is there something you don't want me to know that badly? Bakugao clicks his tongue. We're going to be stuck together for a while, you know. If it's so hard not to, then just come out and say it. You're really pissing me off. No, it's just that I... Shalto steals himself and takes hold of Bakugao's forearms. Listen, if you don't let go of me right now, I will definitely do something to you. Huh? Bakugao scoffs. Do something to me? I'd like to see you try it. Just come in here and calm down, you damn bastard. I can't. Shalto shakes his head. I can't do it. I'm serious. And I'm serious when I say that you really need to. Bakugao drags him inside and closes the door. If I get in trouble because of your stupid ass, I'll kill you. Sit down and shut up. Shalto gives up then and there. He feels as if he might pass out if he tries to refuse any more. He did his best up until now, and he tried to warn Bakugao about what might happen. Whatever's going on inside his head, Shalto is afraid that it isn't going to go away. Right now, he's especially afraid of what might happen if he has to stay here. Bakugao, though, doesn't seem the least bit troubled. He sits cross-legged on his bed and looks at Shalto expectantly. You gonna sit or what? You are really not understanding this. Shalto stays close to the door, his fingernails digging into his thighs. I need to tell you that I'm about to do something. That guy's quirk is messing with my head. Bakugao ignores him again, as he loves to do, and pulls Shalto forward by the wrist. Just sit down. You're being fucking stupid. You think I can't handle. In the span of less than a breath, Shalto's restraint snaps, he pushes Bakugao down, straddles his waist, and kisses him. This is Bakugao's fault, Shalto consoles himself. He had ample warning and still chose to provoke him. It's just his personality. But still, Shalto is sure he'll feel horrible about this after the fact. He really has no control over himself. It's scary. He didn't even know he wanted to do this until now. What other secrets will this quirk dig up from his subconscious? What will happen after it wears off? It'll be a mess. There's no going back now. Bakugao tries to push Shalto off him, but he's got so much adrenaline coursing through him that there's no way he'll move. When that fails, he bites Shalto's lip hard enough to draw blood. Shalto jerks his head back, but not long enough for Bakugao to get a word out. He's really lost control of himself. 
They need to catch that villain if his quirk can lead to something like this so soon after activation. Shouto honestly has no idea what he might do. Stop it. Bakugou moves his head to the side to get out of kissing range, his hands pushing at Shouto's chest. Fuck, when did you get so fucking strong? And you're heavy as hell. In his subconscious, Shouto is surprised by Bakugou's lack of anger. Sure, he's yelling, but it's not like genuine anger, it's just his normal, everyday bad mood. Why isn't he getting genuinely upset? Shouto's body, however, doesn't stop at all while he's thinking. He sucks on Bakugou's neck until a bruise has formed, and then he moves to another spot and does it again, and again. Just when he's starting to think it can't get any worse, he bites the spot where Bakugou's neck and shoulders meet. Ow! Bakugou whacks him on the back of the head. Shouto isn't sure when he grabbed onto his neck. Are you a fucking dog? Don't bite me, asshole. I can't stop myself, Shouto manages to say. His body is shaking from the effort it takes to hold himself back for the few seconds it takes to speak. You have to seriously fight me and run. I mean it. Bakugou smirks and lets his arms fall to the side. Who said I want to run? What? Shouto asks as he rips Bakugou's shirt apart with his bare hands. What are you saying? His fingers trace over the firm lines of Bakugou's chest. Do you know what's going to happen? Aren't you scared? As if I'd be scared of a twink like you. Bakugou winces as Shouto's teeth nip at his chest. Didn't you think it was weird how I insisted you come in here? I realized what would happen from the start. I'm not stupid, and you're not exactly subtle, either. Shouto licks the latest bite he inflicted and replays those words in his head. I realized what would happen from the start. Which means he knew about what Shouto was going to do, and still invited him in here. There's a lot about that to be read into, mainly that Bakugou is okay with this. I don't understand, Shouto says, tugging at the waistband of Bakugou's basketball shorts. I really don't understand you at all. Don't you hate me? I don't necessarily hate you. Bakugou tugs at Shouto's shirt. Take this off. No, Shouto says, but his body does it anyway. He really wants to smack himself. I think I like this quirk, Bakugou says, obviously amused. The fact that he's so unconcerned is really starting to piss Shouto off, which only seems to make his self-control worse. Why did it turn out like this? He didn't want to realize all of these things under the influence of a villain's quirk. It's annoying. It's unfair. It's painful. Hey! Bakugou grabs Shouto's face so he's forced to look at him. Isn't it fine if you're honest? Dot. What do you mean? Shouto restrains himself from moving, and his ragged breathing fills the space between them. You're stupid, and obnoxious, and a real pain in the ass, but you like me, right? Bakugou taps Shouto between the eyes. It's written all over your face. And I'm saying that if you're honest, it'll work out for you. Maybe Shouto isn't thinking straight, but now he's even more confused. It'll work out for him? What does that mean? Is Bakugou going crazy, too? Your stupid expression pisses me off. Bakugou grabs Shouto by the neck and roughly tugs him down, their hips grinding together in a mess of painful heat. Bakugou smiles dangerously. See? I said it'll work out. He's hard, Shouto realizes with a jolt. He's turned on by this. Which, given everything else that he said, means that these feelings are mutual, right? It means he wants to do this, right? As if all the impulsiveness has been sucked straight 